How are y'all? How about that? I'm Sammy. I'm, I'm in the midst of remodeling. Sammy Boyd has reopened a Moorhead City waterfront landmark, the former Captain Bill's restaurant, renaming it Southern Salt and promising that all his seafood will be fresh caught locally. He envisions a fresh seafood market as well as a restaurant, so he plans to expand the place to accommodate fishing boats and customers. I'm going to petition the town to tie into the Big Rock Landing. And over in that area is where you'll be able to come up and buy your fresh catch at, um, over in this area right here. But the, um, when they built the Big Rock Landing, that was what that was supposed to be, was a fresh market for the commercial fishermen to come and sell their local catch. But now it's kind of deviated from it. Raised in modest circumstances, this Moorhead City boy taught himself the restaurant business and owns two other area eateries, the Spot Grill in Beaufort and Sammy's Oyster Bar and Seafood House just down the street from Southern Salt. He learned early how to clean, prepare, and catch seafood. Back when I was growing up, you could go to the uh, fish house and make a few bucks. The fish houses are gone, so the children can't walk down there now and do this kind of, and learn. They went down there and they had a shrimp, for, you know, five cents a pound. They went and shucked oysters for probably $2 a gallon. They shucked scallops for, you know, four or five dollars a gallon. This is what they did on the coastline. So when it comes to this type of stuff, you're not gonna find many people who actually know how to do it. That's the reason why a lot of your restaurants don't do fresh local seafood. There's more than one reason. Number one, the cost. Number two, the labor. If you get it off a food truck, it's already packaged, portion controlled. It's kind of foolproof. And it's likely imported, not here. So as I got older, I started uh, catching my own fish and selling to restaurants. Instead of getting 25 cents a pound for the spot, which is what the fish house paid for the fish, the spot in particular, I would get a dollar because I would clean them and sell them to restaurants. Then when I got a lot older, I actually opened up restaurants <laughs> to be able to bring this product to the table. Along with local seafood supplier Tyler Chadwick, Sammy and I dined on fresh tuna with ravioli and jalapeno cream sauce black and fresh amberjack bites, luscious crab cakes, and fresh caught shrimp Sammy unloaded himself straight off the boat. That tuna is hard to beat, brother. That tuna, that's that like grade one tuna right there. Oh, that's, that's delicious fish. Cool. Uh, I don't know that I've ever really Good had fish. amberjack. Mm. Big time in Florida. You definitely tell it's fresh. This tuna is, is, is exceptional. I love this presentation. Delicious. That's a good dish. You have to ask, commit to nothing but fresh local seafood at a time of increasing dependence on imports? I said all I have to do is what they used to do back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Go back to what they used to do. I don't know how to reinvent the wheel. All I got to do is just Come put some fresh local seafood on the table like they used to do. I think I'll do well with it. Regulations, catch restrictions, and disappearance of wholesalers all make it a lot harder to get fresh local catch. But there, Boyd has a real advantage. I'm able to get all I need for my restaurants because that's what I do growing up. When I, growing up, that's what I do with seafood. So all the fishermen, most of them is left. I know most of them, and I got good connections with them. So that's the way that I wind up getting enough to supply my restaurant. But once again, it's twice the cost of anything off the truck, but it's just worth the money. It's worth the money. So uh, okay, so you've got to you've got to talk to people about that message, though, that it is worth the money. The the money stays here in the local community, it stays here in Carter County and uh, Eastern North Carolina. If you send a million dollars to Vietnam, the million dollars is gone. The chance of you getting your hands back on any of it is slim to none. If you spend a million dollars here amongst the community here, the odds of getting most all of it back in circulation is great. Probably the whole million dollars get back circulating in this community. By keeping that money here amongst the local fishermen and the local community, uh, it is very, very, to me, important. I mean, astronomical is what I say. I don't mean a little bit, it's astronomical. But fortunate enough, I'm on the water here, and I'm in Moorhead was a big hub for seafood. So I thought it was a, a, a great move to be able to get this place over the water, to be able to unload the boats right here at the dock, clean the fish right here on the dock, and serve it to the table. 
to me it's just an everyday thing, but a lot of people don't get to see it, so it's kind of intriguing to them, I think. I think they really like watching it. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to have fun with it. It's going to be a good time to me. I'm more of a one-man show. In other words, I take it from the sea to the table. I do the entire process. It, it, it's uh, just something that I grew up doing in the fish house. So I just took that knowledge, started a restaurant seven years ago almost, six and a half years ago. Bought the knowledge from a child to the table. Never worked in a restaurant, but I figured it out. And now I, I'm multitasking by doing it all, bringing it out of the, out of the sea, cleaning it, per se processing it, cooking it. I can even cook, believe it or not. And bring, yes, and bring it to the table. So, uh, so uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I think it's a great thing.